I do recall uh, saying goodbye to our friends in Minidoka, and by that time my, my older brothers and sisters were all gone. Our sister was all gone, and uh, I remember they came out to wave goodbye to us and, and things like that. And I had a, a very close friend, a, a guy named uh, Teddy Nakamura, who was our neighbor. And uh, so we, you know, said goodbye and all that. It was kind of a tearful scene. Um, but I knew at that point that we were going to, you know, join my dad, so that was good. And I can't tell you anything about the trip or how we got there or anything else, but I do remember um, when we got to Crystal City and we were going through the gates, the whole camp looked much more foreboding. Um, somehow it seems like the the fences were heavier or higher. Um, there were more guards, it seems like, around. Uh, I don't remember any guard towers, but it just seems like there were more guards around. And and I can remember the my feeling that, gee, I you know, I feel like I'm going to a prison as opposed to Minidoka. Everything was just kind of open. Um, and then there were rumors after a few days I, that after I got there that the um, the fences were electrified, so if you touched it, you would get electrocuted. Kind of, kind of. Uh, I don't know if that was true or not. Probably not. Uh, <clears throat> so that was my first impression of, of Crystal City.